Hey YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives. Today I have a very small, but nonetheless very useful little neck knife. The overall length is 2.4 inches. The length of the edge itself is 1 inch. It weighs virtually nothing. All right? And it's meant to be held like this, right, with this finger kind of securing it. And it's meant mostly for tip cuts, you know. Any, I mean, this would be quite useful just as a utility knife about opening boxes, opening packages. I think it's also meant as kind of a last, a last ditch line of defense. And for an edge that's only an inch long, it is actually a very good idea to have a forward curving point like that. This is the sheath that it came with does hold it in. It's got holes in it for, so you can thread like paracord through it all right, and you can wear it um, you can wear it on a, on a necklace or you could thread some paracord and then like thread a belt through that but this is a neck knife now I, I was talking to somebody who thought that it's called a neck knife because you cut people's necks that is not why it's called a neck knife a small blade is called a neck knife because people usually will wear it on a cord or a chain around their neck. I've known several soldiers who pretty much routinely would carry one. And I've known some police officers that also carry one. Now the name of this knife, I have no idea what the official name of this knife is. I checked on Amazon. The place I bought it from no longer sells them. But I found three other places on Amazon selling them, and they all had a different name. So if you want to find this, I would advise you to look up Steel Finger Bear Claw. Steel Finger Bear Claw. Because like every place selling it like had some of those words in the title. All right, and just look for the picture that's this. All right, I would include links, but with stuff like this, the link like changes every week. The sheath is all right in that it's it's nice and flat, but I didn't like it too much because it's it's a lot wider, right? It's a lot wider than the blade itself, and I didn't like that because the whole beauty of this thing is just how compact and easy to carry it is. Uh, so I, I made my own made my own version, right? And this is much you can see, right? It's a much more narrow sheath. The sheath does not make contact with the edge. Okay, so it's not going to dull the edge. It holds it in from the side, right, contacting the bevel. All right, so that's my little sheath thing. And this would be either on a keychain or like a neck chain. Now, the little mini sheath was just made from the end of a, uh, like the outer casing of a box cutter. I just cut it. And then I shaped it, I clamped it down, right, so that it fits very tightly, like so. And it's very tight in this, this homemade sheath. It's not going to fall out. And these came with, uh, with this cord as a lanyard. And I just took the cord from both of these and I wrapped them around this. And now it like perfectly fits my finger. You see that? So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed seeing this little micro knife. And, you know, like I said, the, the link that I bought it from, they are no longer in stock. So sorry I don't have that link. But if you do find one of these, I would definitely recommend picking it up. If it's $5 or less, definitely worth it. Very useful. The sharpness it's medium sharp. It's definitely not like shaving sharp, but that forward tip is going to do a lot of your work for you. And it was actually, you know, it's medium sharp, medium sharp. Yeah, I'm definitely very happy I found this. I mean, this would be useful just for everyday utility. Now, how many times you just need to open a, open a package or something like that. Yeah, very cool. All right. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.